Hello, my name is Mohamed Hassan, and in this video, I want to show you how you can set up C++ uh, in VS Code and on Windows. Um, as you may already know, you need a compiler to compile your C++ codes and convert them to an executable program. For example, you need GCC. Um, to see if you have GCC on your Windows, you just need to open up a command prompt and write GCC dash dash version. If a path to gcc.exe file is available in your um, environment variables, it will return the version of that uh, GCC. Otherwise, it will say that it is not recognized. So to have GCC on your Windows, you just need to search for um, MinGW, which is a package of different build tools, including GCC. Uh, so if you open this website, MinGW uh, dash w64 and inside inside uh, the download page you can see different packages that uh, offer mingw for different um, operating systems the one that i like is this one w64 dev kit which is basically a github page that include different tools for example uh, gcc uh, gdb which is a debugger <clears throat> uh, GNU Make, which is a build tool, Vim, which is a um, terminal based text editor, and um, etc. So you just need to uh, open this GitHub link and it will open up the lastest release version of uh, this repository. And in assets section, you need to download this um, zip file, which for this version it has 78 megabytes size. Once it is downloaded, you can extract it and add the path to its binary files into your Windows environment variables. The way that I like to do it is uh, just to cut it inside a folder uh, named tools inside my uh, C driver. And then uh, extract it here. You can see here other programs or uh, modules that I use in my Windows uh, using this method. Now, if you go inside uh, the extracted folder and inside the bin folder, you can see here all the executable files that um, will be accessible in, in your Windows command prompt by adding this path to your environment variable. For example, if you scroll down, you can see um, gcc.exe, GCC uh, which is the one that we need. And also, you can find other useful command that for example uh, rm which is a linux command to remove a file or folder but by doing this method you can have this command into into your windows terminal as well so go ahead and just copy this path and search for environment variables and under the user variable section select this path and edit and you just need to create a new environment variable and paste that path here and then click OK. Now again, if you want to see if uh, GCC is available in your um, Windows terminal, you just need to open up a command prompt and write GCC dash dash version and it will return the version of uh, available GCC. Now, at this point, you can uh, create a C++ file in any editor you want and uh, compile it using GCC. For example, if you go inside any folder, for example, desktop folder, and create a uh, CPP file named, for example, main.cpp, and write your C++ code here, You can compile it by writing gcc and then the name of that file main.cpp and then link the std c++ library it will compile it and create an executable file and you can just run it by typing a.exe but it's better to use an editor for this you can use any editor and the one that i'm using here is vs code 
after you install VS Code, you have to go inside the folder that you want to start your C++ project and then open that folder with VS Code. Here, if you click this new file button, you can create a C++ file by typing its name and its C++ extension. And once you create this C++ file, VS Code will suggest you to install the C++ extension pack. So go ahead and install it. When you install this uh, C++ extension pack, um, a run button will be added into your VS Code. So here you can start writing your program. Now if you click this run button, uh, C++ will ask you to select um, a compiler that you want to compile your C++ code. And because there are two compiler found in my windows and both of them are actually the ones that we just added them into our environment variables, you can select uh, each of them. If you uh, select GCC, you will get this error that says undefined reference to stdc out. And it's actually because you have to, when you use GCC compiler, you have to link uh, CD C++ library into your um, program. So here in task.json file, he, under the args section, you can add this command to fix the problem. If you save this file and go ahead and run the program again, you can see the program is built successfully and here is the output of your program. Or you can use um, G++ as compiler. So you need to just delete this and this executable file. And again, if you click this run button and this time select G++ compiler, it will build your project uh, without any problem. Well, you can stop here and continue developing your program. But my suggestion is to use CMake to create a build file uh, and then build your project. By doing this, you can have a cross-platform and compiler-independent program and also you can easily use third party libraries like IEM, CMake and so on uh, in your C++ project. So go ahead and search for CMake. And if you open this website, cmake.org and click on download. Under the binary distribution section, download this um, Windows 64 zip file. Now after you download the zip file, again you can uh, cut it into a folder named tools inside your C driver and then extract it here. Now you can rename it so the path wouldn't be so long and inside the bin folder you can copy this path and add it into your environment variables now in order to configure the, this project with CMake uh, let me just delete these and create a file named cmake lists.txt. Now, as soon as you create this file, again, VS Code will suggest you to install this cmake tools extension. So go ahead and install it. Now you can configure your project inside this image file.
now when you save this file VS Code will try to configure your project and if you install that CMake Tools extension you can see that a bunch of buttons will be added into your VS Code for example here you can specify the compiler and you can build your project and if you want you can run it and here is the output and that's for today thank you for watching